Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Mega Bloks Scorpion's Sting set from Halo, which is my favorite set. And you might have seen me do a little bit of a video on this before when they were doing a giveaway for this and many other sets, but I haven't done an actual review, so I wanted to take a look at it to let you guys know just how cool it is. Uh, the reason I like this set so much is because it really doesn't look like a construction toy once it's done. I mean, sure, you do have some of the pegged bricks showing, but you have a lot of the finished bricks like you can see right here, and it just has a very finished look to it, almost like just a regular model or like action figure style toy. Not action figure, but uh, the type of vehicle that would go with an action fig figure. So I really do like it, and it has a lot of cool little features, including the figures that come with it, but let's take a look at it overall first. It's about 25 centimeters in length, which makes it just about, eh, about nine and a half inches. So it has some definite size to it. And like I said, it has some really cool features. First of which is that the main cannon can hinge right where it connects. You can aim down or you can aim up pretty much however you want to. You can pose it and it has the full swivel, of course. This secondary thing right here, I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's part of the gun. I don't know, but it has its own hinge also. And then we have the uh, machine gun up front where you can fit one of the minifigures inside. The canopy or the cockpit can open so that you can fit one of the minifigures inside. You just kind of have to spin this around out of the way a little bit and then you can put any one of them in there. I don't, I don't know if the Elite will fit, but either Buck or the other Spartan or any Spartan you have will fit in there just no problem at all. You can close that up and put a guy in here and you are good to go. And you'll see the photos at the end. It also has the full swivel. All of the treads, just like in the game, have a pivot or a hinge on them so that they can go over terrain, which is really cool. We have this back compartment here, which can open up and you can fit things inside. It actually mostly hollow, so you can fit lots of stuff inside, so that's kind of cool. And then the last feature I like is the treads, or are the treads, I guess. No, I think is is correct. Uh, now, the thing I like about these is that they are actually rubber and they actually have the full tread work. You can see all the wheels inside spinning as you do it and they just snap together and it works perfectly. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it actually kind of makes a uh, a tanky sound the way the treads work. I don't know if that was intentional or not, well, but it, it's really cool the way that works. Maybe if I roll it across the table you'll be able to hear it. I don't know if my mic will pick it up since it's facing me instead of the table, but it might. Hopefully you did. It has a very cool sound to it. Uh, so that's the tank, and it's a really awesome set. I love the molded green that they used, where it has that pearly kind of blend going on. And we have lots of uh, the stickers. So we have the UNSC sticker here, another UNSC sticker here, and then we have the little ones throughout. Very, very cool looking set. I, uh, I really, really like this one. And as far as the minifigures go, we get an Elite, a Storm Elite. Let's get the uh, tank out of the way here. So we have the Storm Elite, which is a really nice one. I love the amount of detail they pack into these guys. Fully articulated, fully sculpted, he comes with the Storm Rifle. Which, by the way, if you play Halo 5, particularly effective at close range. Just get used to it and you'll be able to uh, use it nicely. Anyway, very nicely done for the Elite. I love the uh, minifigures here. And he also has a uh, plasma turret that comes with him. So that's pretty nice. Then we get, uh, I cannot remember the name of this Spartan. Uh, this particular helmet, but it's very well detailed and we have some white paint on there and it's just nice. He comes with the SMG. And then of course the most important one that we get with this set is Buck, which is a fan favorite of course. He's got that nice green visor and he comes with the assault rifle and is of course fully articulated. So it's a very very nice set. I'm really pleased with it and I think you guys will be too. Uh, especially at the price point, you're getting one heck of a set. And uh, like I said, it's one of my favorites, and I think it'll probably want to be one of your favorites also if you decide to pick it up. So stick around for the photos here at the end, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.